we did have a good time this year. We had a good showcase. I mean, we we actually somehow got on a showcase where people submitted for South Bank and got chosen. We didn't get chosen by the South Bank committee. Somehow we got in the back door because she was friends with some guy that went to college that was working there. We ended up going there, and this dude ended up running the door. He was collecting money, checking IDs. So, you know, he checked in Mickey Avalon to, to his show. Mickey, Mickey, Mickey Avalon. Yeah. Was in the back room, and he was all f***ed up. Like, I, I'm, I'm serious. Like, we, we went there and just took it over. That's what we do. We got a, I own a store called Zug Life in Sacramento. And Jesse teaches a bunch of music lessons there. And then we sell like local bands. We're like a merch booth for bands like us. And then we have a stage in front of the store where bands play. And uh, it's like a local craft, local music store. So we run that when we're when we're in, at home. He he works at a... I run a rehearsal studio. Rehearsal studio, there's like 50 bands, 60? Like 200. I mean in your, in your specific one. Well there's like 60. 62 rooms. There's like... Like 50. 62 rooms. It's all About two bands per room. Surrounded by barbed wire fences, you gotta have a key card to get in. I mean, it's like a lockdown, 24-hour band rehearsal studio, so you can practice any time of the day, any time of the night. You, you don't get your gear stolen. I mean, it's it's. It's open every day. Yeah, Franco owns his own company. I scrub toilets and ovens. Blake helps me. He's yeah. the president. Of that. He's I'm famous. CEO. I mean, rich someday. <laughs> I'm I'm the only one who has. Well, Jesse, the other girl, her and I. Actually real have jobs. Um, real jobs, you would say. Like but it's taxable. Yeah, taxable income. But I work in a restaurant and I've been there for three years and the owners are awesome and they let me leave like yeah, whenever I need nice. to. So they're cool. It's cool to be able to go back um, after being on the road and make some money. I meet so many band kids that are in bands like, dude, all I want to do is play music every day. I'm like, then do it. Do it. You know? The thing is, it is a lot People of... like, how do you do it? I'm like, by doing it? You just have to, like, want to do it, and then you just make it happen. Like, you do whatever whatever it takes, and that's, like, a lot of pre-planning, a lot of work on the road. Like, we're all really fluid at working together to, like, load in our stuff, load out our stuff, sell CDs for each other, play with each other, and so that's what makes it work, but... We fight a lot, too. It's sexy. Like Money's brothers. just green paper with black lines. <laughs> you got to give a lot of credit to Jessie though. She did book quite a few of the shows, something like 50 Thanks, or something. So everyone has their. That's a lot of time spent on the internet, just staring at a screen and just yeah. hoping that somebody's gonna email you back. So you send out like 60 emails and get like three back. Sometimes you don't get any back. Sometimes you get none back. But <laughs> that's just part of the game. I mean. It's if we had a booking agent, we would be giving away 10% of our money every or every more. show or more. 10 to 15 is pretty much standard. So like having a manager, having like a booking agent, having that kind of support, there's 30 to 40 to 50% of all the money generated, which we need. <laughs> well, plus like we get to build relationships with the owners and yeah. like promoters. Help like, out other bands. Because we're communicating with them before the show about details and things. So it kind of builds a relationship that way. Because a lot of times bands just don't know how to like do it. You know, they're like, how do you book a tour? I'm like, it is kind of a long process. And a lot of bands too, like, they go out on the road with no money and no plan and they derail, you know, within the first week. And it's, it's overwhelming to like sleep for two hours and then try to like get along with everybody, you know? Or drive for seven. It's like everyone's seven. comfort zones and personal space is violated all, all the time. And you don't sleep <laughs> all the time. <laughs> When you do sleep, you're like moving, you know? Think about sleep, moving, like traveling hundreds of miles while you're sleeping every day. Like, it's a trip. Like, you, you're, we're like time traveling, like cheating the future. Um, well, I'd have to Let's say, go around. I'd have to say we got a mannequin in San Luis Obispo in California. Is that what we came for? Yeah, that was super cool. Some chick bought a couple CDs and she hooked us up with a free mannequin. So that's like $300 right there. Running the door at the South by Southwest oh, showcase yeah. the musical chairs had. We just were there to watch all the gear for a while. And then uh, it, was, it was unorganized. It was really unorganized. Like a lot of the employees had no clue what was going on, you know? And then me and Franco and our friend Charlie ended up running the door all night. We, we had the VIP list, the guest list, the artist check-in. Checking like in said, Mickey Apple. Mickey Apple. He checked in the guy that actually booked our showcase. Yeah, it was funny. Was like, guys were coming up team. to me like, 
I'm on the list, this and that. I'm like, I don't know, man. You're not on the list. And they're like, this is like my company and my show. And I'm like, well, I don't know you. Why aren't you on the list? You know? oh, so buddy. that was funny how much uh, we just got to do it all and nobody even knew who we were. So I thought that was really funny. It was fun, though. We met a lot of people and felt really important. <laughs> It's kind of hard to say. I've been enjoying the whole thing in general, but we had a couple of moves last night. I think that was pretty good. Guitar under the legs and, you know, a couple of little different balance issues. Uh, you know, I think that was, that was actually really interesting. It's like rock and roll. Straight up. Don't drink and drive. I love Beville. Don't walk and drive in Beville either. You should get cabs in Beville. That's my suggestion. Just said don't walk and drive. Don't walk and drink. <laughs> Don't, Don't walk and, and walk. drive at the same time. Get your horns out. Ram out. Just give up. Give up on your dreams. We'll be back in March. Next we year. might come back sooner. But it, for sure I mean, it's, it all depends. Like, once we like blow up and get huge and stuff. <laughs> Later, Beville. No. Bye, <laughs> Beville. I'm gonna come to Beville to the day that I die. We Anything love you want to do is so. possible. Yeah. Follow your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> the mystery comes by. We're parting light, displaced water. Curling upwards like the vine that stretches towards the side.